understanding in high spirits, a fun journey into English phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, in high spirits. This phrase is not only common in everyday English conversations but also enriches your understanding of the language's nuances. Let's explore what it means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. In high spirits is an idiom that describes a feeling of happiness, excitement, or energetic enthusiasm. When someone is in high spirits, they are in a very good mood, often feeling lively and cheerful. This phrase doesn't literally mean being high up in the air, but it's a metaphorical way of saying that someone's mood is uplifted. The origin of the phrase, in high spirits, dates back several centuries. It's believed to have come from the idea that our emotions are like the spirits or humors within us. When we're happy or excited, these spirits are thought to be elevated or high. This section will take a brief look at the historical context of this phrase. To better understand how to use in high spirits, let's look at some examples. After hearing the good news, she was in high spirits all day. The team was in high spirits after winning the match. Despite the long journey, they arrived in high spirits. Sometimes, learners confuse in high spirits with being physically high up or assume it's related to consuming spirits, alcoholic beverages. In this section, we'll clarify these common misconceptions and ensure you use the phrase correctly. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from casual conversations to formal writing. We'll explore different scenarios where you can appropriately use in high spirits to express joy, enthusiasm, or excitement. And that's a wrap on in high spirits. Remember, this phrase is a fantastic way to express joy and enthusiasm in English. We hope you're leaving this video in high spirits, ready to use this phrase in your daily conversations. Keep practicing, and you'll soon master the art of English idioms. See you in the next video.